The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. And I've a scoop for you The lucky is the happy Smoke so mild and so rich too Be happy, go lucky 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 Be happy, Enjoy your cigarette Enjoy a truly fine tobacco That combines both perfect mildness And rich taste in one great cigarette Lucky Strike For only fine tobacco gives you both Real mildness and rich taste And LSMFT Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So, friends, be happy. Go lucky. Try a carton of Lucky Strike. Be happy. Go lucky. Be happy. Go lucky. Strike. Be happy. Go lucky. Go lucky. Strike today. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack. With Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is morning, and as we look into Jack Benny's home in Beverly Hills, he and Rochester are going over the bills that have accumulated during their absence in Europe. Oh, uh, here's a bill from the gas company, eight dollars and fifty cents. Eight fifty. Electric bill, nine dollars and seventy-five cents. Nine seventy-five. Uh, here's a bill from the telephone company, six dollars and forty cents. Wait a minute, why do we have to pay the telephone company? They couldn't get in to open the coin box. <laughs> oh. I wonder how much my share will be this month. <laughs> Now, let's see. I paid my cast and writers for the first show. Oh, yes, I have to mail a check for commission to my agent. I didn't mean to ask you about that, boss. How does your agent get to the bank? He doesn't. The warden deposits it for him. <laughs> oh, uh, say, boss, uh, isn't your agent in for 20 years? Yeah, but he gets 10% off for good behavior. <laughs> Uh, what else have you got there? Uh, here's a bill from your dentist. He wants a hundred dollars deposit. My dentist? Oh yeah. Send that bill to my sponsor. After all, it was his idea. Yeah. Your sponsor? Yeah, he thought it'd be nice for television if I had my five front teeth fixed. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with your five front teeth? Nothing. He wants to put LSMFT on it. <laughs> But I don't know whether I'll do it or not. See, smiling commercials. <laughs> Be happy, go lucky. You know, the next thing... The next thing you know, he'll want me to... I'll get it. Hello? Well, how are you? Yeah, we've been back from Europe three weeks now. Sure, you can come home any time you want to. Goodbye. Who was that? Your parents. <laughs> It'll be good to see Polly again. Now, let's finish these bills. I don't want to waste all day. Yes, sir. Uh, here's one for your automobile insurance. Wait a minute, boss. This premium seems too high. It's $93.50. No, 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 Ross. That's not the premium. That's, uh, that's what the car is insured for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it right here. It's covered for fire, theft, and rheumatism. <laughs> Stop. Is that all? No, there's still one more bill. It's from the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. It's for $30.20. That's right. I was up there for three days. I see my room was $10 a day. That's $30. Pay it, Rochester. Uh, what's the 20 cents for? I gambled a little. <laughs> I was up all night trying to break even. 
You know, sometimes... I'll get it. Hello? No, no, the address here is 360 North Camden Drive, not 350. Goodbye. Stupid parrot. <laughs> Some bird can't find their way to Capistrano. She can't even find her own house. Now, Rochester, take all these bills and... Come in. Well, hello, Dennis. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Every time I come to your house, you ask me the same thing. What? For ten years, I've been coming to your house, and it's always, Hello, Dennis, what are you doing here? Look, kid. Just once, I'd like you to say, Hello, Dennis, glad to see you. Come in and stand on your head. <laughs> Dennis, why, why should I ask you to stand on your head? Well, you know it's a long walk. My feet hurt. Well, that's ridiculous. Dennis, you only live two blocks from here. Why is it such a long walk? I always get lost. But there's nothing to it. Why didn't you just come down Rexford and walk up Sunset Boulevard? Oh, I'm afraid to pass Gloria Swanson's house. <laughs> what? If she killed William Holden, what chance has a jerk like me got? <laughs> Look, Dennis, do me a favor, will yeah? you? Go outside, I'll close the door, and ring the bell again. Okay. Well, hello, Dennis. Come on in and stand on your head. Now leave me alone. <laughs> yes, sir. Now maybe I can... Not on the piano! <laughs> Look, it, I didn't ask you over here, but if you came to let me hear your song, let's hear it and then go home. Okay. Hold it a minute. Yes? How do you do? <laughs> from the telephone company. Oh, yeah, it's right over there on the wall. Thank you. <laughs> My, it's heavy this time. <laughs> yes, business was great when the Shriners were in town. <laughs> I'll dump them out right here on the table. Gee, look at all those nickels. Here I go to divide the dough, and when I'm through, I'll scrammy. One for me, and one for you, and five for Uncle Sammy. <laughs> yes, mustn't forget him. My agent did, and look where he is. <laughs> now, look, mister, would you mind counting those coins in the other room? Uh, no, no, not at all. Thank you. Go ahead, Dennis. Let's hear your song. Yes, sir.
was fine, Dennis. Very good. You can go home now if you want to. Dennis, I said you can go home now. Dennis. Oh, isn't that cute? He sang himself to sleep. <laughs> See, he must have walked a long way to be that tired. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Come on in and stand on your head. I mean, come on in. What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. Dennis, wake up. Huh? Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Dennis. By the way, Jack, I haven't seen you since last Sunday. Did you read all the reviews on your opening program? Yes, most of them. I, I thought they were nice. The reporter in Variety said you were better than ever. I know, I know. Luella Parsons said you got loads of laughs. Yes, yes. Hedda Hopper said you were dynamite. Yes, yes, I know. Erskine Johnson said you weren't the least bit funny. Him I'm suing. <laughs> Uh, what what other write-ups were there? Did you read the review in the Herald Express? No. You can take that one to the Supreme Court. <laughs> no kidding. Was it that bad? Ooh, was it? <laughs> I thought you went home. How can I? My shirt's in your bending. <laughs> well, go and get it. Mary, getting back to those reviews, I can't understand it. Everybody seemed to like the show. Even my mother. Oh, your mother. What does your mother know? She liked it? <laughs> yes, I got a letter from her yesterday. Oh. I brought it over. Do you want me to read it to you? Yes. I mean, if she liked my show, certainly go ahead. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> my darling daughter, Mary, just a note to tell you, we heard Jack's opening program and thought it was very good. Well. It's about time. <laughs> Hmm. We'll soon be able to see Jack, too, as we have a new television set. Oh. Papa didn't want to pay all that money for a set, so he built his own. Something went wrong, though, and when it was finished, the screen was one inch high and seven feet wide. <laughs> it works all right, but hop along, Cassie, looks like he's riding a snake. <laughs> That's silly. A screen one inch high and seven feet wide. I wonder what Faye Emerson looks like. <laughs> Read on, Mary. Here's some good news about your sister, Babe. About Babe? Oh, goody, goody. Babe is very upset because she wasn't selected to go to the Atlantic City Baby Beauty Contest as Miss Plainfield, and I don't blame her. Even though I'm her mother, I must admit that Babe has the prettiest pair of knees... In New Jersey. It's a shame they're in the back. <laughs> Lucky her feet are on backwards. She'd look awful. Jack. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> no other news except that I'm very angry at your father not speaking to him. What? Last month was our anniversary, and I told him I wanted to see South Pacific. So he took me to New York and shoved me on a banana boat. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Have to close now, but we'll write again soon. Your loving mother, Bally High Livingston. You know, Mary, if your mother lived here in Hollywood, I'd give her a job as a writer. I'm not kidding. Say, excuse me, Winner, will you? Where are you going? I'm in the kitchen. I want to get a glass of water. Answer that, will you, Mary? Okay. Hello? Well, hi, you live. What are you doing at Treasure Island? <laughs> well, I had nothing to do, so I dropped in at Jack's house. Social or Bendix? <laughs> <laughs> Just social, Phil. Where is Jackson? He'll be right back. He's getting a drink. No, don't tell me the old man is finally gone. Here he is now. <laughs> oh, Jack. Phil. Oh. Hello? Hi, you, Jackson. Been nipping a bit, huh? <laughs> yes, Phil, I had a glass of water. Nice, plain, cool water. Water? Yes, water. What's in your swimming pool? Remley, we're playing Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> all right, all right. What did you call for? Oh, I want to find out about rehearsal. Oh, you do, eh? You want to find out about rehearsal? Well, Mr. Harris, for your information, 
Rehearsal was at my house last night. Was I there? <laughs> no. Well, I can cross that one off. <laughs> now, look, Phil. I think we ought to get something straightened out right now. This is the start of a new season. When I call a rehearsal, I expect everybody to be there, and that includes you. Now, this is your last warning. Hey, Jackson. <laughs> what? If you didn't need me, I'd be scared to death. <laughs> Need you? Phil, I need you like my agent needs a tuxedo. <laughs> now hang up and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Phil. Good night, Irene. <laughs> what a guy. Say, Mary, it's getting kind of late and I'm hungry. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, sure, Jack. I'd love to. Where's Dennis? Well, he went out while you were talking to Phil. Good, good. I'm going to get Rochester started with dinner. Okay, I'll just sit in here and play the piano. This thing is out of tune. <laughs> oh, what a piano. No wonder nobody puts nickels in it anymore. <laughs> You'd think he'd at least... Oh, Jack! Never mind, I'll get it. Hello, Don. Well, hello, Mary. Is Jack in? Yes, is he expecting you? Yeah, Jack brought me a gift from Europe, and he wanted me to drop by and look at it. Just look at it? Well, he said he'd give it to me today if I promised not to expect anything for Christmas. <laughs> oh, well, come on in. Ah, uh, you know, Mary, I envied you and Jack traveling all over Europe. Well, I must say it was exciting, Don. We had so much fun in London, Paris, Rome, Venice, and... Venice? Jack didn't tell me about that. Well, he wouldn't. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Mary? <laughs> well, Jack will never tell you, so I will. Well, go ahead, Mary. I'd love to hear it. Well, after Jack finished his engagement at the London Palladium, we went to Paris. From Paris, we went to Rome. And while in Rome, we decided to go to Venice. Gosh, those canals must be fascinating. Oh, they are, Don. Anyway, we arrived at night, checked into the Grand Denali Hotel, and the next morning, I met Jack in the lobby. Jack, did you get the tickets for the sightseeing tour? Yes, Mary, and the gondola will leave in a few minutes. Gee, I'm sure looking forward to it. Senior Benny? Yes? I am the belle captain. Uh-huh. The gondola for the sightseeing tour, she's about to ready to leave. Oh, good. Well, uh, we'll be right out. Uh, grazie. Oh, bell captain, should I bring my coat? Senior in Livingston, this is a sunny Italy. We have the same climate you have in California. Bring your coat. <laughs> thought so. Come on, Jack. Gosh, Jack, what a thrill. This is the first time I've ever been in a gondola. Yeah. I didn't know it helped so many people. I'm sure glad we came on this sightseeing tour. Oh, Jack, the guide is getting up to point out the places of interest. Yeah. Come on, Mary, let's get closer to him. There's so many interesting things in Venice. I don't want to miss a word he says. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jack. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jack, you're you're close enough to him. Just a little closer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is it there or no to this very famous historic palazzo che sor commande? Ma questo uomo ha un piede sul mio. What do you say? What do you say? Huh? What do you say? What do you say? In venti anni che faccio il gondoliere, non è mai visto un animale come questo e ancora mi pesa il piede. What do you say? What do you say? Huh? Huh? What do you say? What do you say, Mary? What do you say? Il batto se io rompo il naso e la testa anche, e ancora mi pesce il piede. What do you say? What do you say? Yeah. Just a minute, Mary. Uh, say, mister, do you understand Italian? Yes, I do. Oh, good, good. What did he say? He said you're standing on his foot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll step back. Jack! <laughs> Mary! Mary! Miss, shall I help you get him back into the boat? Or did you push him? <laughs> Certainly 
afraid not. Please help me. Here, Jack, take my hand. Easy does it now. <coughs> there we are. <coughs> Thanks, mister. Oh, boy, am I wet. What did he say? What did he say? Huh? What did he say? He said you're dripping on his leg. <laughs> If he thinks I'm going to step back again, he's crazy. <laughs> Say, wait a minute. Aren't you Jack Benning? Yes. In a son of Proganda, Artista Kaley, Continental, the Europa Sona Vista. Wait a minute. I thought you couldn't speak Italian. Uh, what did Mr. Benny say? He said he was a sensation at the Palladium Theater in London. <laughs> That he could say in Chinese. Tu Han Wang Fu. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Mary, please. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> he, said, he said we are now approaching the plaza, which is famous throughout the world for its singing gondoliers. Oh, yes, yes, look. <laughs> All those people sitting out on the pier. Where else would you see anything like this? Wonderful, wasn't it, Mary? Yes, Jack. And you better sit down. Our gondola is starting to move again. Gosh, I wouldn't have missed this trip for anything. It's so picturesque here in Venice. Oh, Jack, look at those signs along the side of the canal. Signs? Yeah. I'll see if I can read them as we pass. Candera un punta. De uno che canasto. Talia tuo berba. Manon tuo nasso. Sperma shave. <laughs> Mary, where does it say Burma Shave? On that last sign. Bermuda Radera. That's Burma Shave. Bermuda Radera means Burma Shave? Holy smoke. I better learn what these Italian words mean. Why? I had that on my strawberries this morning. <laughs> See, I'll just have to... Jack, do... sit down. You're rocking the gondola, and we're getting into heavy traffic. Yeah, just look at all those gon- gondolas going in every direction. So what if they don't bump into each other? <laughs> That. It's that man sitting over there in that little boat. He used to work for the traffic department. <laughs> what? Uh, what's the matter with him? He went crazy trying to paint a white line down the middle of the canal. <laughs> oh, well, that is a problem. Why didn't he try watercolors? <laughs> this was going to happen. Miss, are you sure you didn't push him? <laughs> of course not. Now help me get in the boat. Okay. No, no, don't grab by the hair. <laughs> Here, Jack. Here's my hand. <coughs> These 
bolts are too narrow. What do you mean, too narrow? You fell off the Queen Mary. <laughs> Only one. Gee, I'm cold. I think I... 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 Uh, achoo! Fraturada un coxa. Thank you. He said break a leg. <laughs> It sounds so nice in Italian. Jack, why don't you just sit down and enjoy the ride like everybody else? Okay, but gee, I'm so wet. Well, it's your own fault. Signore, signori, noi al passo il famoso spazio per qualche spesa in Venezia. Well, the guy just said we're passing the shopping center of Venice. Oh, yeah. Look at those little stores, right out on the water. Gosh, it's the only place in the world like this. Yeah, and Mary, look at that store on the end. It specializes in gondola accessories. Manny, Moe, and Luigi. <laughs> See, the place in Los Angeles must have stolen its name from this one. Oh, huh? signore, signori, no, il passo in famoso americano, il mio spazio in Venezia. The guy just pointed out the famous American rendezvous in Venice called Harry's Bar. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. See, that's where all the Americans in Venice come for cocktails. Well, we must go there, Jack. Yeah, and say, Mary, did I tell you the wonderful joke I made up about Phil Harris? I'm going to do it on our first broadcast. Oh, look, Jack, you're on a vacation. Forget Joe. No, no, Mary, this will be sensational. Now, get this. I'm going to say this on the first broadcast. I'm going to say that when we were in Venice, Phil Harris went into Harry's bar and sat down at a table with one of the natives. Phil took a drink, and then the native took a drink. Get this. Then Phil took another drink, and the native took another drink. They kept drinking and drinking till the native couldn't see anymore. <laughs> about that? Mary, don't you get it? Phil is the first guy in the world ever to drink a Venetian blind. <laughs> Mary, Mary, don't you get it? Venetian? <laughs> Mary! Mary! Here, miss, I'll help you. Never mind, this time I pushed him. <laughs> and enjoy your cigarette. Puff by puff, you'll find Lucky's always give you perfect mildness. In fact, scientific tests prove Lucky Strike is milder than any other principal brand. But mildness is only part of the enjoyment Lucky's give you. You get rich taste, too. All the deep-down enjoyment that comes from truly fine tobacco because LSMFT, Lucky Strike, means fine tobacco. So, friends, be happy. Go Lucky. Try a carton of Lucky Strike. We're a little late, so good night, folks. Stay tuned in for the new Harold Perry show, which follows immediately. This is CBS for Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>